you just released a, a video on Facebook <laughs> that maybe had some controversy to it. Um, explain what you were doing with that and if it worked or not. Um, I've wanted to do a different kind of video for a long time. I uh, was kind of waiting for EBI to come out with a name that I could use. And when we came out with this spoiler, I was like, oh my god, like that's a name that I could use. And <laughs> I wanted to do a ball video that would have more views than any of the other bowling ball review videos or whatever. So that was like what, one of my goals. And people went crazy for that. And like oh, there yeah. was actually nothing in there. Like you can, I'm not even naked in there. They're but really it's right. like, Never. The, it was the imagination like of the guys, especially well, the guys. They were like, oh my gosh, like she's naked. Like how dare you? It's like. like in this particular video, the, the thumbnail was you in a towel. So when people, when the video scroll, like people scroll on their Facebook and they see the video, they see Diana Zagalova in a towel with like some tan lines. And I bet you everyone, that attracted everyone to that yeah, video. But the if thing, you would have changed was, that thumbnail. It was only a couple of seconds, like that, sure. whatever. Sure. So they even missed the whole point. Like there was, those, the haters or whatever, they missed <laughs> the whole point. So, but uh, my video went crazy and that's what I wanted to happen. And it was... I was just spoiling a day for somebody. Yeah. Like, that was a whole, you know, point And you really video. broke a barrier within the bowling world. I mean, yeah. doing that. No one's ever marketed anything like that. And yes. he, like you said, it, there was nothing bad about There's the really video. There's really nothing Absolutely. bad about There's it. There's nothing yeah. bad. But it was exactly the imagination that made other people think, oh my God, like, she's naked. Like, she's promote, like, it's bad. Like, you know, I have so many young girls that look up to me. Like, you can't do that. Like, I've read some of the comments, and I think it's ridiculous. But I also, another reason why I did that, I wanted to do something different that nobody has ever done before. And my goal was to reach people outside of bowling industry, and I did. I had some people comment on my video that were not even bowlers, they had nothing to do with bowling, and they tagged other people. Yeah. So that's something that we need in bowling, is like the marketing, like get people you know, outside of bowling industry, and I did that. I didn't get many people, but I did. No, so. you did. I mean, I was at a bowling tournament when you released the video in New York. <laughs> and uh, someone was watching it and they said, oh, you gotta come see this video. And then they're watching it. And, oh, what are you watching? What are you watching? Yeah. There was 10 people watching this video. Watched it 10 times. <laughs> and you've never seen that with another bowling no. ball video no. anywhere. No. So, I mean, the reach that you got from that is it's definitely monumental in our yeah. sport. And also another thing that I wanted to do is kind of change the image of bowling just a little bit because in general, if, when you talk to a non-bowler, they think, when you ask them, like, what do you think about, you know, bowlers or the athletes or whatever, they're like, oh, you know, they're, they're fat, they drink sure, yeah. beer, whatever. Yeah. But there are some, like, sexy bowlers out there. Yeah, there like, is. Both male and yeah. female. And yeah. I think everybody's sexy. Like, it doesn't matter, like, if you're, you know, short, tall, big, so, like, everybody's sexy. And I kind of wanted to, like, mix that sexuality with the bowling, you yeah. know, and then maybe even reach out to, like, the outside of bowling industry like maybe like clothing or something you know different